in our new series, we're farming somewhere a little bit different, here in Farming Simulator 22 on the map Baldekina. Right now, I'm heading from my house here in the big town at the south of the map to the north, past Baldekina, to live on a new plot of land that we're going to make into a farm. My Uncle Pete is a big farmer in the region and is part of the local collective farm and offered me a piece of land to try a hand at farming and expand his lands. Although we can borrow equipment from him from time to time, it's our responsibility to make use of what we have here and make this homestead profitable for him. Now, of course, we'll get to live here and build the farm. We decide where the fields go and pretty much everything else in the land. But Uncle Pete will take some of the profit. He did give us the land after all. Besides the money in my pocket, we have a tractor to start with and a couple of tools. So we'll have to build us a base for farming, plow our own fields, raise our own animals, and when we can, help out some of our neighbors for some extra income. The people who live in this region are friendly and the soil is rich and fertile in this part of Siberia. So let's build us a farm. So here at the beginning, I want to have a look at this beautiful map and kind of see what's where, you know. So this is the drive from town up to our homestead at the north of the map. The news of being able to use this land up here and build a farm on it came kind of suddenly, but it's very welcoming after living down in town. Up here, we get to have our own land and farm it just however works best. So, well, you know, so long as we can make it profitable. So. So there's a lot of room to build and there's a lot of work to do. Okay, so it should be up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So this is the piece of land that... All right, so I think this is a little over 20 acres or so. And we have... Well, there's supposed to... Yeah, there is. I'm going to say there's supposed to be a tractor here. There's, we got a tractor for us and we got a little house and a shed and... Pretty much all my uncle said about this is, well, he's got this land and he wants me to help develop a farm on it, obviously, right? And it's pretty much up to me where everything's going to go, how things are done here. And I think, well, I know that he wants, well, first we need to get a road out here. We need to get a road through this and we can work on that. And another thing is, of course, we want to get started on a field. If we can get a field started, we got time to get wheat planted this year still. Well, let's get up to the house and see what all we have. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to make a road through here. Be very, oh, it's a quaint little house. Very basic things like, yeah, we're going to need a road through here up to the house. And a field, I think a field down by the road might be good. So here's the tractor that we're using. And this is... This is fully ours. There's some more equipment that we'll be able to use, but this tractor is mine, he said. So that's awesome. That's great. And great. We got a little tool here so we can kind of start carving out a field. And perfect. All right. And a mower. Well, that's great. Let's take a... Uh, I want to take a look down by the road. And now there's, a, there's more equipment. He's got a lot of equipment. He's got a lot of big fields that... Uh, Let's see, it should be this field uh, right down there. It's, uh, I believe it's sugar beets. And I think he's gonna have us work on that some. I've not been up north of town in a while, not at this direction. Well, anyway, this field up here, I believe is sugar beets and he's gonna have us help later in the year. He's got equipment. His equipment's parked down at the collective farm down northwest of Baldekina down there. Or, sorry, in the town. Sorry, Baldekina is north of northwest of where we live. Well, uh, well, where I was living until uh, until now. This is a great little place out here. So this is one of my uncle's fields, I believe, and it's sugar beets, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and wow, that is a big, big field. So you might have us help some on that this year when it's ready to. Uh, He's ready to dig those up. So, I gotta say, I like this little tractor. It's definitely big enough for whatever we need to do here. So, let's see. I think a good place to start a field, because that's kind of the first thing. Well, actually, I might start getting a road first, but I'd like to kind of see where. 
I think along the road would be a good idea, although it would kind of make more sense to start from the house and work away from the house. Yeah, that's true. Well, let me drive back up here. Let's get a, let's get a road kind of planned out where I might want to put that. We're also going to want some buildings here, but right now the tractor and the mower and this little plow, it's the only equipment we have. So, well, in our car, but I might look at, uh, once we get some, I'll get some of the grass mode, like where we want to do stuff and uh, look at getting a shed, a bigger shed put in where we can park the car and the tractor and stuff like that. I came here with only, yeah, only the pickup truck, but well, now we got a pickup truck and a tractor and a loader, which I think we might be using the loader later. He said something about helping him load some seeds and fertilizer down at the store. I think we want to take that out to the collective farm. That's something else we want to do today. But first, let's get an idea of where the roads are going to be here. Now, this 20-some acres here, he made it pretty clear that this is all ours to do with, and it goes back there behind the, the trees, too. He wants to see, like, how I can do, you know, setting up a piece of land for him. He's already got a lot of land around the town, and so... Let's show them that we can do a decent job here. Oh, yeah. Round tool. There we go. Let's drop that off. And I figure it'd be easier to mark where the roads are going to go with a mower. So I'm glad that I saw that here. All right. So, well, let's just get this started here. And, uh, well, I guess let's just drive it down towards the road. We'll have to do something about this cut grass. We may as well put it to use. We can put this cut grass to use in a variety of, variety of ways, I suppose. Let's just get us a little, this area mowed off here so we'll know where to come through We'll have to get a bucket or something to come through here and make a road. Let's we'll just kind of get this going down. As long as we have total control over the terraforming of this land, we may as well make it, you know, attractive, you know, make it kind of pretty. This is a beautiful place out here. This is a beautiful area around the towns of Baldekina and Andreesk. So let's make our little farm something nice to look at as well it's very beautiful out here i love all the uh there's a lot of old you know old country charm out here that i really really like all right so let's just kind of get this mode down to right here all right so it gives me an idea oh yeah hey how about that that looks really cool talk about yeah that is kind of cool i just kind of driving towards the road and uh we got us a nice long little snaky driveway here, so that gives me an idea. I'm glad I did that because it gives me an idea where we want to put the fields. We can come by here with the plow, and yeah, let's go get the plow, and then <clears throat> let's kind of put an outline for a field where we might want to put one. Again, you know, if we hurry, we can get wheat down this year, and I'm not sure when his beets are going to be ready to harvest. Um, he wants some of my help with that. Obviously, he has his own people, but... He wants some of my help with that, so that'll give us a, an opportunity to get in, into the, some of the farming out here. Is I really haven't done much. I'm really a novice, and that's kind of why, you know, he's like, here, have this piece of land, and let's see if you want to farm, right? So let's figure out where we can put the field. You know, I think uh, somewhere on this side of the driveway right here, maybe up a little ways. Let's see. It looks like this area here around the house is pretty flat. Be, this area here could be good for buildings and stuff like that. We'll start small and I'll see about that first. We don't even have a road to get down. But I'll get to that. I'd like to get a outline for the field. So let's see here. And yeah, I have to get us some way to store this grass. Now, there's a, right over behind those trees over there, there's a pig pen that he said that we can take care of. Now, there's no pigs there yet, but it's, it's right up against this land. I guess it probably technically it's like part of this land. There's a, a big sty over there that we can uh, use to help out as well. And 
yeah, I just thought I'd mention that as a by the by the by kind of thing. Well, this right here looks like a decent place for a field. Let's just kind of lay out a um, I don't know, lay out a shape for a field right here. Kind of follow the road and just I don't know. Made a pretty good curve on the road. Let's see if we can do something creative with the field as well here. So guys, a decent little little tool here. Kind of lay something out that follows along the road, maybe. Come on, little tractor. All right, and then we'll just kind of go along the road here inside these bushes. The bushes look, look really nice, and uh, no need to mess with them. And I don't want to get anything so big that we can't work it. You know, again, he said that uh, we're going to have, basically, we're going to be able to borrow tools here and there from the collective farm, but it's going to be best if we buy our own, and I prefer to buy our own tools. But for now, for this first harvest, we might be able to use some stuff here and there. I don't know exactly what all they have down there. We're going to get a chance to go down there here in a bit once I get a call and help load some, like I said, seasoned fertilizer. Let's go ahead and just cut this field here. We can always modify, you know, size and shape of these if we need to. Let's go ahead and go up here and connect this. This is more than big enough of a field for us to start with, I think. I mean, we only got the one tractor. and Well, <laughs> this is it. You've seen the extent of our equipment right now. And I know that any work that I do for my uncle um, on his field or for the farm will get paid for. And I uh, haven't really discussed that too much in length, but there is that. So that's an opportunity to make a little bit of extra money. All right, so we got... a outline for the field laid out so I kind of know where it's going to be now regarding this grass let's see let's just park this plow here for now regarding this grass we're going to need something to get the grass up with we don't have anything just yet okay actually just now as I was sitting there pondering what to do with the grass because we don't have a way to move it just yet just got a call and the uh, seeds and fertilizer there's I guess they're in big bags and they've arrived down at the store so we can go ahead and load those up and take those to the farm to the, the uh, tractor park over by Baldekina and there I can probably borrow something to get this grass up so I'm gonna take this down to Andriesk that's where the uh, that's where the store is so let's go down there so i'm getting to know this area a little bit and well i'm trying to get to know the roads and figure to take a different way down to the store i've only been out here a couple of times we can go i think we can go this way let's see i'd like to kind of learn where some of these roads go and it's not a bad idea to kind of get to see some of this countryside there's a lot of cool stuff out here and well who knows you know we expand this farm and i decide to stay here and like it here there's a lot of possibilities, and I'd like to see what else is out here. I think there's a quarry and other things down here. Well, I know we're headed in the right direction. <laughs> I know we're headed in the right direction of town, but I'd kind of like to see some stuff along the way. This up here, I believe this is the bakery. I think we saw this on the main road when we drove out. Yeah, I think this is the bakery right here. And I understand they do a lot of business, and that might be something that we do with our wheat later next year after we harvest it. Of course, we haven't even planted it yet. But the weather's not bad out here. It's nice for growing uh, crops. Well, obviously, very fertile soil. Nice for growing, and I understand that the winters aren't too bad here, which is pretty good. Let's see, now will this take us back to the main road? You haven't been down, oh, you know what? Yeah, you know, I was just thinking, yeah, we saw the bakery from the road, and yeah, it was way down here. Well, let's see if there's a way to get back up there and see some scenery along the way. And then, yeah, this road goes right, keeps going uh, 
east and then south right into town. Yeah, it's very pretty here. Here in August. There we go. Yeah, this goes right up to the road. All right, so get back on the main road here, and I will meet you guys back in town at the store. All right, here's the store. And, yeah, there's the truck we got to load. All right, let's have a look here. So we just got to get this, these pallets up on that truck and run them down to the farm, or at least, I'm guessing, as many pallets as we can fit up there. Now, while we're here, I'm going to see about getting a tool for our grass as well. Let's, see, let's just park our tractor here. Let's get the... Uh, yeah, let's get the truck up closer. All right, there we go. Let's get this up there. Well, this tractor's a little older, but it works pretty good. I got no complaints. No complaints on this tractor. Must have been recently serviced. And as it was, you saw, it was nice and cleaned up and everything when we got it. Let's go ahead and strap this one down. That way we don't have an accident and knock it off or something like that. Yeah, this tractor doesn't have a lot of power, but, well, it's got all the power we need starting off a farm. It's just absolutely incredible that he gave us his tractor to start with. I'm looking forward to seeing, because I haven't been to the collective farm yet, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of stuff he has down there that we might be able to use. Because if he wants us to help on that big field he's got. That field of sugar beets is about the size of our entire land that we're working with. So if we're gonna be working on a field that size, I bet he's got some really neat equipment there. And there I go trying to be too perfect with the loading. We might wanna look into seeing, we might be able to, if I, if I had thought to inquire, there might be a forklift here that we could rent for this. But, this is working just fine. Alright, let's get some more of these seeds. Get all the seeds up there. I'm gonna start grabbing this fertilizer. And I think we're gonna have just enough room to get it all fit on here. Yep. Yeah, we got we're gonna have plenty of room to get this fit on here. got two more of those now let's see here these are right up next to the truck all right not the best loading job on this one but we only got room for one more and that's well that's all we need let's get this loaded on here and get the last one Maybe when I put the other one up there, I can kind of straighten that one out there a little bit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good enough. There we go. There's lots to do this fall. Well, it's not fall yet, but it will be soon. Next month, we'll probably want to be planting our wheat, which means, yeah, once we get this to the collective farm, we got to start planting our own field. And I don't know when he's going to need help with the sugar beets. We'll have to see about that. And I don't know a thing about sugar beet farming, so... But I'm sure he'll tell us what to do with the equipment that he wants us to use. And, of course, we'll get paid for it. So, that's all very good. I'll strap that down. While we're here at the store, let's have a look. I wouldn't mind 
you know, we can leave these forks here. Because I think we're primarily going to need forks down at the store and not so much at our farm, at least for right now. But one thing we do need at our farm is something for the grass. Let's see what we can find for that down here. Let's see if we can find something for... You know what? I think this right here will do us just fine. Just because we're going to be dealing with grass, so... Oops, that's not it. It's down here, of course. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this hooked up to the tractor, and then we're going to drive this this truck up here to the collective farm. All right, so I'm just going to take the main road out of town here and west over to Baldacana, and I'll meet you guys there when we get to edge of town and find this collective farm to deliver this and see what kind of stuff we might be doing. I think over there, I think those are his silos. My uncle's silos that we'll be using. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to. I'll get some more information on that and such later. But I think he also might have seed production down there. Oh, whoops! I flew by the sign. So here's Baldacana, and the collective farm should be, yeah, right here, right here in town. I'm not sure where we're parking these. Well, there's another truck there. I guess we can park these over by that truck. So he's got some stuff here that'll um, we'll be able, yeah, of course, like I said, we'll be using on his farm and also might be able to use on ours as well as he's got a pretty big machine shop here too. So that's all very good. For now, let's just back this in here by the other truck. Actually, you know what? Let's put this somewhere where it's, now let's just back it here. I assume when they unload it, they can move it to a different spot. Let's go ahead and park this here. All right, now one thing I want to have a look at. Well, let's get back down to the shop. All right, so I got a ride home. And, yeah, well, we got somewhat of a driveway, right? Let's get back down to the shop and our pickup here. And I want to see what we can do about getting this grass up. I think there might be a... There's probably a piece of equipment that we can lease. Of course, we don't have really much money to do much of anything right now. But there's probably some equipment down the store that we can rent to get the grass up for now until we can afford to buy something of our own. So yeah, so yeah, that's the uh, silos down there and there is seed production down there. And apparently we can use the uh, the wheat that we farm on our field, which is still in the works, of course. But once we get wheat from there, we can take the wheat down there and make seeds and he'll buy the seeds from us instead of the store. So that'll be one decent you know, possible source of income right there is that we can work on making seeds for my uncle's farm and he'll pay us for seeds and fertilizer, which is where also those pigs, that pig farm I mentioned, I haven't shown you yet, but it's beside our farm. I haven't checked it out yet, but the uh, wheat field and that we're going to make and the pigs could come in handy to, yeah, making seeds and fertilizer. And that could be a decent way to make some money. I'm not sure what other fields around here he owns. I don't go north of this town much. All right, we're back down at the tractor. I think I'll just park the car. Well, let's park the car over by the farm equipment store where we put the forks. All right, let's have a look and see if we can lease a kind of trailer or something for that grass. I think... Something like this, this PTS might work good. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, that'll work good. And yeah, can't afford to buy it. So we're only going to need it for just a short time. So let's just lease it. Yeah, we can afford that. Luckily, we made a little bit of money off delivering the seeds and fertilizer. So that's good. Let's pull this up to the farm and use this. All right, so yeah, I'm going to get this up to the farm, and we can start working on the driveway and finish working on that field, get that field made. All right, so I want to try taking a different way back to the farm. Let's see. I want to try I want to see where some of these roads go so we can find quicker ways to get from town to the farm. The road we took last time was right down there. 
there's another road on the other side of the river. Uh, and yeah, there it is. Yeah, I want to take that. The one it kind of goes down through the forest. And this might be a more direct route to get back to our farm. Let's try this out here. The scenery out here really is pretty. I really like it out in the countryside in this part of Siberia. It's really pretty. Here, you've got a lot of trees. And, of course, we have mud. Yeah, we'll have to see how that gets once it starts raining and such. The weather this month, I think, is supposed to be pretty clear. I haven't looked very far ahead, though. Oh, yeah, this is a neat little drive. Let's see if it's a more direct route or not. Oh, well, looky here. I found something here. How about that? To keep my eyes peeled for those. That's going to help us a lot on our way to building a farm. Yeah, this is a cool little narrow road and more mud. Oh, wow. Speak of the devil, look what I just saw coming down the road. All right, yeah, so I think this will take us, this should take us up north to the, well, let's make sure it does. This should take us up north, kind of right to the place where we turned off last time. Let's see. Hey, it's got to, because we're going north, so it's got to. So I'm going to take this up north and then head west along that road, and I'll meet you guys back at our farm. Yeah, you know, I think that was a more direct route. I think that was better because it gets us off the paved road sooner so we don't hold traffic back. And it's a pretty drive. It just goes right straight back to the forest and right to this road here. So I think we'll be taking that way from now on. Now, let's see if I can work this wagon here. I haven't used this, this one yet. Never used it before. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get our grass up with this. Yeah, I think this will work nicely. And you know, I didn't expect in finding those little collectibles back there. That's going to give us some extra money. And, you know, I think I might have enough to buy this now. But we'll go ahead and after we're done using it, I'll return it. Because we, we might need our money for something else. Yeah, that's true. Because this right here, we're only going to need for this grass here. Now, this is where I'm going to make the road. Once we get this finished, we'll get the road made. You know, I should really get a bucket for this tractor. There's a lot of things on the list, a lot of trips to towns I'm going to have to, uh, sorry, trips to town I'm going to have to make. And one of those trips, I should get a bucket for this tractor to get this road put in. I'll take care of that, no worries there. And I'm also going to see, I'm going to have a word with my uncle about getting some sheds built here. Well, I'll see about shed construction and stuff like that later. For now, because we're just renting this trailer, let's go ahead and uh, where can we drop this grass at? Well, we could drop the grass in the grass for now. It's kind of why I was thinking about sheds. Let's go ahead and just drop this here for now. Wow, it looks like a lot once you get it all unloaded. Well, once we get a shed, we'll have a dry place to put it. Until then, we'll park that there. And, yeah, we're going to want the tractor to finish the field. Let's go ahead and return this. This wagon here. Return. Before it charges us any more money. All right, now we can get back to working on our field. Unless I get calls about helping with anything else. And here in a minute, I'll have, I want to get some more done in the field, but I want to have, I want to see about getting a bucket for this tractor and getting a road put in here. For now, let's work some more on this. I wonder how big this is. This should be big enough for us. I mean, yeah, when you look at the size of the equipment we've got here. I'm also going to want to have a look at, I think I saw some rocks. Oh, well, yeah, there's going to be rocks in the soil here. We're going to want to have a look at that as well. For now, let's get this back down and back to work. Got a lot of field to make here. Three meters at a time. I think that's the working width of this. It might be a little narrower than that. It looks, it isn't quite, it looks more like two meters, if I'm being honest. 
Either way, yeah, a couple meters at a time. We'll get this field carved out. And yeah, I'm gonna save those rocks because we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get a road put in here. I think it'd be better than just dirt to have a gravel road. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up these rocks and we'll save them. Instead of buying gravel down at the quarry, let's let's just save our own rocks off our field and we can pave eventually pave our road ourselves with the rocks that we pick up. I think that might just be a good idea. You know, running a farm on a low budget, it's all, you know, trying to figure out how can we do stuff, you know, for less money, things like that. There's going to be a lot of equipment and things we have to buy. You know, I think this field might go faster than I previously thought. We may only be taking it out a couple meters at a time, but I didn't exactly mark off the largest of fields. But hey, you know, we can always reshape it and enlarge it however we want. We got free reign to do whatever we want on this. I think it's about 20 some acres, about 23 or so maybe and I know there's other land for sale in the area around Baldakina so we can always look at other places too to expand but I don't want to think too far ahead just yet considering all we have is a small little house that's <laughs> barely bigger than a shed and uh, we're going to want to expand a lot well, I'm making good use of all 80 horsepower out of this tractor here it's actually doing a great job yeah, the field doesn't look very big over at the west end, but once you get over here, well, you know, where I made it kind of wider because I was kind of following the contour of the road. Once you get over here, yeah, it definitely gets a little fatter. How does it look overall? I mean, size-wise. Well, compared to the tractor, I think we got a pretty decent-sized field carved out here. Let's take some off down near by the road. And one thing is I like to keep an eye open, especially since we're on such a budget. I want to keep an eye open for anything interesting that might be on sale. Nothing that we can afford right now or need. But yeah, gonna be keeping an eye out for things come up on sale around here, any kind of used equipment. And we can always check down at the collective farm. We were down there briefly and I saw some big tractors there. They might have some equipment here and there that they were looking to get rid of that's used. They had another Belarus tractor like this, only it was a 1025 model or something, I think. It was a little more powerful than this one. You know, let's have a look at the calendar here. When is wheat? Okay, so next month. Next month, we can plant wheat here. Or, you know, barley, wheat or barley. Let's plant wheat. next. So next uh, month, we'll be able to plant wheat here. As I'm plowing this field here, I'm making decent progress on the field. It's going pretty decently. And I was thinking about that. We we'll want to borrow a cedar. That won't be a problem. We can borrow a cedar. They've got an old, old used one down at the collective farm that we can borrow. I know that's there. I saw that there. I had a look around and... Uh, we'll be able to use that to plant this next month. You know, the way I figure is work, doing work for my uncle is not only going to get us money for the farm, but they'll let us use their equipment so long as, you know, I'm using mine to work his fields. We can use some of his to work ours, but I don't want to rely on that too much. I want to show that we can really build a farm out here in the countryside with nothing but a log cabin and an old Belarus tractor. You know, here when I finish this I'm going to get this uh, this run right here plowed. As I'm looking over there, I think those buildings over there, I think is the pig pen that I mentioned. And I haven't checked it out yet. I know it's here, but I haven't seen it yet. I wonder if there's a way to drive there from our farm here. Well, let's go find out here. Let's get to the end here. Making decent progress on the field. Slowly but surely. Making decent progress here. Let's see if we can drive over there, because I think it's right over here. I wonder if that's almost, I hope there's not like a creek or something in here, but let's see if there's a way to drive through. Oh, look, there is, there's a little road right here. Is there, that's what it looks like. Oh no, that goes to the main road. Well, we can put a road in here. It's not a bad place to, we can find a place to put a road in then, because I think this is the pig farm right here. see what all we've got here oh this is nice and 
quaint little farm out here in the countryside. Oh, wow, how about that? Oh, not been out here yet. Pigsty. Yeah, there's lots of room for pigs in here. Lots of room for pigs. We'll start small here, but it's nice to know that we've got a place that we can raise pigs. Oh, geez, these things are... Hey, this is an honest playthrough. I haven't uh, been through here, so... Yeah. And I'm using as little as I can to get through this, so... All right, well... Well, geez, we're just getting... All right. Well, that's money we need for equipment to get started. You know, instead of borrowing that cedar from, uh, we might be able to buy one now. That would be a good first purchase since that's a tool we'll be using a lot. Might just buy our own cedar. That sounds like a good plan. That'll be next time. Well, found another one of those. Well, anyway, here's the pig farm. There's a few little cool collectibles around here. And I just checked where the property lines are. And it looks like, I think, this is technically part of that land that my uncle gave us. So, should be able to make a road right over here directly from our farm through these trees. So, that could be kind of interesting to do because... Oh, well, it's better than just kind of cutting through the brush with the tractor here. So that's good to know. I guess for right now, let's get back on this. Actually, so I know that we're going to need some kind of bucket. Let's have a look at getting... We're going to want a bucket right here for making our road into our, uh, into our farm. All right, that's definitely affordable. And then I want to have a look at... We want to pick up these rocks and uh, yeah, use them for our own gravel so we don't have to buy gravel. Of course, we got to buy the shovel. Yeah, but I like this idea better. There we go. Okay, this is going to set us back a little bit, but um, not necessary costs are necessary. Plus, you know, I've been finding some things around here, so we can go ahead and pick this up at the store right now. It'll be a good break from this plowing. This plowing, yeah, it's going pretty slow, just a couple meters a time. At a time, you know, at each pass, it's getting a little slow. You know what? Let's uh, let's be smart about this. So we got a bucket and a bucket for gravel as well. One for dirt, one for gravel. I'm gonna go park our our grass fork back at the house so that I can bring back the bucket so we can get this road put in. Just kind of something to do to distract from the monotony of all the plowing, which I'm trying not to bore you guys with too much. By the way, I hope you guys are liking this video. This new video series is going to be, well, it's going to be like Texas, only um, kind of on the other side of the world a little bit. So there's that. Tell me what you think. Be sure in the comments below, tell me what you think and what we can do better and what you'd like to see and things like that. And subscribe to follow along more with this series. All right. So for now, I'm going to head down to the store real quick. Well, as quick as I can at 21 miles an hour. Then I'm going to head down to the store and pick up our our uh, buckets and I'll meet you guys there. I've driven by this a couple times. I'm not sure I've seen it yet, but this I believe is the grain mill. I guess because I'm always looking at the bit. Yeah, the bakery is right over there. So this would be the grain mill. Like I guess I've driven by it a couple times and I was looking the other way. Oh, the view is quite scenic over there down where the uh, bakery is. And I believe it is down there too by that lake. I think there's a campground over there too. Haven't been out there much. I'm just enjoying the view on my 20 mile an hour drive. <laughs> All right, here we are at the store. Oh, there's our buckets waiting for us right there. And I just had a uh, thought. This doesn't have a front attacher on it. It's going to make running the stone picker a little more difficult. Yeah, because there's no front attachment on this tractor. Well, something I probably should have thought about, but yeah, I, this we can use this on our field that we're doing now and then I'll just remember in the future to look for a vehicle with a tractor with a front uh, three-point linkage for that but that'll work for now but first we got to put in the road so I'm gonna grab this bucket here 
But now I gotta drive all the way back north of Valdekina, and I'll see you back over there. Oh yeah, so here's where, where we're gonna be taking the sugar beets. I got confirmation on that. That right there is root crop storage. I believe my uncle owns that along with, yeah, the silo. It's right across the street. And I believe that's right there. I guess, yeah, that's where he stores the root crops. It's this. Oh, we'll be going past it. I took a different way back to the farm this time. And, yeah, right up here. That'll be later on whenever we harvest those. And I'm not sure when that is. I should probably know ahead of time because we got our own crops to plant. Sugar beets. Okay. That'll be October. Whoops. <laughs> That'll be in October, so... We'll have plenty of time to get our wheat planted. I'm looking forward to tending our... small little <laughs> garden plot-sized field. For now, I'm gonna get back home and I'm gonna get this road put in. Yeah, this is a mighty big field here. I wonder how big this field is. So I know for reference... Wow, it's almost 12 hectares. Yeah, we got some big fields here. There's there's big fields here, there's small fields here, and of course there's room to do whatever you want. But uh yeah, this is a pretty big field. Yeah, it's Uncle Peter's field. And I think he's got others around here. I'll have to check and see. Alright, we're back here on our tiny little our little field which is looking more and more like a field let's see yeah see this is why I was it'd be nice to have a front attachment for this well we can look at something like that <clears throat> anyway <clears throat> so let's see how we're gonna work this we have to work it off the back of the tractor and oops backwards yeah and let's see we can pick up rocks with this yeah this will work nicely yeah this will work like a champ it, it is too bad that uh, there's no attachment on the front of the tractor for this, but for so much as, such a small field, this right here will be no problem. And in fact, I can use this to smooth out our road here, which, yeah, let's go ahead and drop this tool off here, and I'm going to get started on putting this road. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to get this road put in, and I'm going to see about... Um, uh, getting a shed built out here too to store some of our equipment and store our grass and stuff like that So I'll catch you guys next time be sure to tell me what you think in the comments below and like the video if you uh, if you like it And be sure to subscribe subscribe and follow along for more in the farming in Siberia series as we farm here in Baldekina and uh, There's a lot of fun that can be had here. This is a great map. I really love farming here. I'm looking forward to farming here for a long time and Yeah, next time we'll have a road put in here and maybe some a building out here so I'll see you guys then.